Hey guys, Vincent here. Welcome to the Making Money with After Effects course. Today we're going to be talking about the demo reel and the importance of having a demo reel. So what exactly is a demo reel? A demo reel is kind of like your personal business card, your kind of portfolio that you show your clients or your employer what you're capable of, your skills, your previous work, and why they should hire you. So you're showing this to them to give them a reason to hire you and to kind of show off your skills. So it's kind of very important to get all this stuff right to kind of give a really great first impression. And there are some few things I want to talk about when creating a demo reel. So before we get started, let's go ahead and take a look at examples of a demo reel. This one here is by Royale. So let's go and take a look. So if you were pretty upset that I stopped the video, that's probably a good thing because you were really interested in the demo reel and you were really uh, interested in seeing what other works this person has done or this particular company has done. And that's the whole goal of the demo reel here is to kind of draw your attention and make you very interested in the work and the quality of the work that you're seeing. And this is the whole point of the demo reel. And we all strive to make a really nice demo reel, a very interesting demo reel, so that you don't lose your client or your employer's interest. So the first thing I want to analyze here is that, first of all, he has or they have a kind of title slide that establishes their brand. So as you can see here, we have a nice logo reveal. Now, most of the time you would want to include the name of your company or your personal name as well as a year. But in this case, they decide to go with a simplistic logo and have all the information here on their site. Uh, but first of all, you want to establish yourself, establish your name, who you are, what you are, and your company name. And then we progress on to the actual projects that they have done in the past. And as you can see, everything is really nice, fast moving, rapid pacing, and really quick transitions. And again, this has to do with the attention span. Most people have very short attention spans. So you kind of need to grab their attention pretty fast and get on with it. So that's just something that you want to keep in mind. You really want to show them your best work and cut all the other crap out. So let's go ahead and take a look at another demo reel here by Mr. Lores here. This one's a little bit different, but again, the concepts are the same. So let's take a look. So again, very, very fast movement. As you see at the beginning of the demo reel, he has a nice little animation. And again, it establishes his brand. It also shows his name as well as his show reel in the year number. Years there just to kind of give you guys a reference on, you know, okay, this is a demo reel from 2009 to 2010. Just something to keep in mind. So he establishes himself as well as the brand and then he progresses on to his previous works. Now notice again how you have nice quick transitions that gets to the point. And you also have a very upbeat uh, and energizing music. You don't want to have really slow music or cinematic music or anything like that. You kind of want a lot of energy, a lot of abstract beats in the background strong beats so that you can kind of animate your transitions according to the music you want to you know kind of sync up your music with your transitions so if you want to have a lot of fast transitions obviously you're going to need kind of a fast pacing fast energy moving music here now that i kind of give you guys a brief idea on what to include in your demo reel let's go ahead and take a look really quickly at how to simply cut a demo reel up uh, again very quickly in premiere here now, of course, you can use After Effects, but in Premiere, it's a lot easier to edit stuff and change the length of stuff and kind of move things around. So I'll be using Premiere for this particular case here. Now, what to include in your demo reel? Obviously, you need a nice, fast paced, moving, kind of energizing music here. So I selected this kind of extreme sport music here. Anything energizing and kind of kind of resembles sports should do fine. So I'm just going to drag this extreme sports track into the audio one slot here. 
and let's go ahead and take a look at some of the clips here. Now, what kind of clips should you include in your demo reel? Uh, honestly, I would say only include the stuff that you'd like to do. If you include stuff that you didn't like working on and their client sees that, they're going to get the impression that, okay, you like doing that kind of stuff, so I'm going to hire you for that kind of stuff. But obviously, you don't like doing it. So only include stuff that you like working on and only include stuff that are actually pretty good that you're actually proud of. You don't want to put crap in your demo reel. You don't want to put you know junk in your demo reel because, again, if you don't like it, they're probably not going to like it and you want to be proud of your demo reel. So select quality stuff that you are proud of that you want to show and only include stuff that you like to do and you like to show as well so your clients don't get the wrong idea of what you like doing. So select some of your stuff here. I have a few clips here. I'm going to go ahead and start off with a pretty nice uh, opening grand entrance here. So I'm going to select this kind of asteroid scene that I did a while back. And of course it has uh, already on audio track in there so I'm just gonna uh, cut that out right click and we'll go to unlink and we'll go ahead and delete the audio track here because again it will be replaced by our soundtrack so we'll just move this over here now obviously before you get started you want to include your title slide or your title animation which should include your branding your logo your name maybe your year or your company name and that should establish yourself and then continue on with your actual cuts here. So I'm not going to include the title slide, but in your case, you would include the demo slide here. Now remember, a demo reel has to be quick and snappy, so we only want to show the best parts of our animation. This animation here is pretty lengthy itself, and we only want to trim it down to show the best part. So I'm going to trim it down just to around three to five seconds max because you don't want to bore the audience with the same stuff for longer than five seconds. It's a little bit pushing it here. And of course, you would sync up the transition cut with your uh, audio track here. So maybe around here. Let me just take a look here. And then maybe cut around here. We can bring our second clip in, maybe uh, this glass one that I did. And again, we'll remove the audio. So it's going to cut on the upbeat here. And again, it's going to end somewhere around here. But again, I want to trim this part to the most interesting parts. So, you know, maybe we'll go around here, trim it. Let's go ahead and watch this. Now, this part here is empty because it's for our title slide as well as uh, there's not that much music going on here. So this would be a perfect time for your fade on, fade off uh, title slide. And then we can cut here and move on to maybe uh, this cube animation. Again, we'll unlink the audio. Maybe start here. And again, this is just a very rough cut. Of course, for your demo reel, you want to be a little bit more precise to show all the great stuff and to sync up your cuts a little bit better than me right now. But this should kind of give you a basic idea here. So let me just continue on. Maybe right here before it cuts to the next scene. We can trim it and then maybe bring in our element experiment here. We'll unlink this one. And uh, we'll just trim it to the most interesting parts here. Maybe around here. And then, you know, we'll just do one more here. I haven't used all of them, but let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, plexus test. And we'll unlink this one as well. And uh, we'll go over here and just trim it down to the most interesting spots. Maybe right here. Bring it over here and uh, so on and so forth until you get a pretty decent demo reel. Now, how long should a demo reel be? I'd say around 30 seconds to maybe a minute and 30 seconds. You don't want to make it too long because you are going to bore them. And most likely, you don't have that many good scenes of animation. So you don't want to you know, bore them. So keep it around 30 seconds to a minute and 30 seconds. Let's just go and take a quick look at this cut here. This should probably end. Let's just take a look. So the goal here is to get some pretty nice upbeat abstract music, only show clips that you like doing and working on, showing the best parts of each clip, 
as well as trying to impress your clients. This is the whole goal and to just really drive their attention to your work and why they should hire you. Now, one last thing I want to talk about before I go is the presentation of your demo reel. So as you can see here, all these demo reels are actually uploaded online to the respective owner's website or company website. As you see, Royal has their video uploaded to Vimeo just because it's a really nice, clean interface, very creative, professional community. So they uploaded it to Vimeo, which I also highly recommend. It's absolutely free. And they also embedded their video onto their website so that, you know, instead of handing your client or your employer a DVD of your demo reel, what you can do, it's a lot more convenient to kind of have a website and have your demo reel on your website just so that it is very accessible to a lot of people and a lot of other people can see it other than your client. So it's a way to get new clients as well as, you know, making it convenient for your current clients or your employers are looking forward to hiring you right now. So upload it to your website if you have one. Very convenient. I don't recommend uh, uploading it to YouTube and giving them a YouTube link. So be a little more professional. Website, Vimeo is fine. And, you know, give some basic descriptions on who you are, what you are. Maybe include maybe like um, past clients that are very recognizable. Maybe like uh, H&M or Disney or Discovery. Include those. Those will really help you in your demo reel, your portfolio, as well as your ethos here. And also always include your contact information just in case, you know, outsiders are looking forward to hiring you. And you can see the same thing here on Mr. Lawrence's site here. As you see, we have a very nice, professional, clean website as well as a Vimeo video as well. So just something to keep in mind. DVD is fine. Website is preferable just because it's more accessible. And these are just some of the quick tips I want to talk to you guys about with the demo reel. So nothing too complicated. In the next lesson, we're going to be talking about starting to get work, how to get work, and how to gain attentions of your clients outside from the demo reel. So until next time, my name is Vincent Nguyen, and I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Bye, guys.